All right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. Why not do a double feature? This review was originally supposed to be in the vlog, but I'm sitting here. I've shot up Eclosi stuff. I figured, why not just make it its own video? What we're going to be talking about today right now is this top cap, but also this top cap. Unfortunately, this is the Trident version 2. All right, so we're supposed to be up close and personal here with the Trident version 2, but you're saying to yourself, that doesn't look like the Trident version 2. This is an aftermarket uh, top cap, as I would call it. This came from RJ Vapes, and it's just a, uh, it's just a glass or a Pyrex, rather, uh, cap. This was actually designed for the Atomic Rebuildable Atomizer, but I've found that it works on the Trident version 2. And it's a good thing because this Trident version 2 top cap uh, is horrible. I, I hate it. I can't stand, cannot stand using it. It just drives me nuts. So when I found out that this works on here, holy crap. Uh, I, I fell in love with it. Huge, huge airflow holes on there. Um, the problem is I'm in love with these coils, so I'm not going to be uh, I'm not going to be doing a full rebuild. All I'm going to do is re-wick it uh, using uh, using Japanese cotton. These coils have been so 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 good to me. Um, the cotton in here is about a week old, and I'm going to pull it out of there. Before we do that, let me show you the awfulness of this uh, of this Trident uh, top cap. First of all, this all comes apart like that. Here's your adjustable airflow, right? So you have huge, not as huge, not quite as huge. Um, still not as huge as these airflow holes, but, uh, but not bad, not bad at all. Um, and here's the part that I hate. This fits on here insanely snug, and I always, it's lubricated now, so I'll be able to get it off. But after you've been using it for a while, it truly, uh, it truly feels stuck on there, and I have to use a small flathead screwdriver to get it off every single time. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I guess I'm going to line up. Where's the big holes? So, uh, so there's a big hole here, but there's not one on the other side. There's a really small hole on the other side. So what I need to do is, there's a big hole here. And then on the other side, there's a big hole here. So those are the two biggest holes I can use for uh, for these coils. Um, this is what you put on it to cover up all the other holes. And it says Trident on there. I have no reason to believe this is a clone for any reason, but it shocks me how poorly this is made. This sits on here like that, covers up those holes. And I was under the impression maybe I need an o-ring or something in here that this uh, screwed down on here and would hold that in place so I s snugged this down and I'm like yeah until this just spins do you see how freely this spins this top part does not snug down hard enough to even keep this in place so oftentimes basically every time I go to use it I have to, oh, no, that's not right. Which hole was I using? That one? Nope. That one. Yep. See, it matches on both sides now. But without fail, every time I grab this, it will be off center or it'll be no airflow at all. And I have to research for the holes that I was using because this spins so, so freely. I don't know if anybody else has had this problem. Maybe it's isolated to just me. Maybe that's my luck, but I can't stand it. I hate it. I hate this top cap. I hate using it. I hate taking it on and off. This glass one from RJ Vapes, oh, look at that. It just goes on and it stays where you need it to and you have these big airflow holes and you can visually line them up perfectly with your coils. You can see how wet your wick is, but that doesn't matter. Um, because that doesn't come stock with the Trident. Unfortunately, it comes with this nonsense uh, that I that I hate. And maybe, like I was saying, maybe an O-ring or something, some dental floss or something, or a, a really small O-ring along the top or on the inside. I'm not sure. I don't know 
what could uh, what could possibly remedy this but I literally can't crank this down hard enough to make that uh, to make that airflow adjuster stay in place it just spins like crazy so what I'm gonna do now uh, real quick is re wick this so like I said I love these coils ah oh, I love these coils they've been uh, they've been just uh, just fantastic especially on this Hades mod loving them loving the coils so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my tweezers I'm gonna get these uh, get this cotton get this cotton out of here uh, I have to use a lot of cotton because I set these coils up pretty high to accommodate for uh, for how high these holes are in this top cap I built these coils specifically to use with that uh, with that top cap so what I'm gonna do is just pull this old cotton out of here and I'm gonna end up using the same juice so I'm not gonna rinse this out or anything I might uh, give it a couple dry burns but I took uh, I took all that cotton out of there just like that so as you can see coils are good I'm gonna just burn off the rest of this juice until they glow evenly and nicely oh beautiful that is rad sauce um, love these coils love them love them love them find no need to rebuild and as you can see now that all that cotton and stuff is out of the way this uses flat head uh, you know screwdriver on top and ah, I don't want to rebuild this these come all the way off and you're left with a channel on the inside rather than an eyelet to to thread this through when you take this off you have a channel you know what I mean like you have a groove that you put your coil in you put your wire lead in and then you screw these down um, as much as you can and you know you get them nice and uh, nice and nice and tight and I would absolutely demonstrate that for you uh, if I didn't love these uh, if I didn't love these current coils that I have on here just uh, so so much got these micro coils this is 20 uh, shoot what is this I believe this is G plat wire I think this is 26 gauge G plat wire but they heat up perfectly Do you see how they just heat up so perfectly from center to out center to out gosh that looks good looks beautiful and what I'm gonna do is get some Japanese cotton and uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna rewick this with some Japanese cotton and the Japanese cotton pardon me while I put this away comes in these big sheets like this it's this big puff pad of Japanese cotton and so what I do is I separate it into two pieces roughly just just like that like just from the middle out so you end up with a with a smaller puff pad of Japanese cotton and I've been using this one and this is an this is a smaller it's about half the size Do you see what I mean because I tore this one in half I tore this one in half and what you end up with is this and all I do is I cut off the width that I think I'll need for those coils so what I'm gonna do is cut off a piece about that big I'm gonna cut off another piece about that big there's no gonna be no editing there's gonna be no jump cuttiness I love your rip we're not gonna do that but what I'm gonna do is uh, just pinch the end of this just like that and I used a bigger screwdriver than I normally do for these coils so this is just gonna fit perfectly just right in there and I'm just gonna pull it in just like that I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna take this end and I'm gonna pinch and roll. And then I'm gonna stick it in the coil just like that. <laughs> Easier said than done. Good job, Grim Green, you lunatic. This is gonna go in here just like that. Uh, it's so much easier than people on YouTube make it look. So now I have a whole mess of, mess of cotton in here um, and it's going kind of with the grain I guess and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these through and I'm gonna cut off the excess with my scissors so I'm gonna cut off like that much and then that much is that too much cotton does that look like way too much cotton not really it's fine so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my tiny flathead screwdriver I'm gonna tuck all this cotton 
underneath the coils just like this see how that's going you see how that's working coils you're underneath cotton you go underneath the coils just like that you see that and it's important to have your coil exposed don't let any cotton get in front of that you want to have that cut you want to have all the cotton under there pushed in same thing over here just gonna push this in push this in oh it's beautiful that's a beautiful sight right there again make sure that the coils nice and X posed and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my glass uh, top cap back on so that's what I ended up with I'm gonna put my glass top cap back on I'm gonna make sure that it's lined up just like that and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dump a whole mess of juice in there just to saturate the coils I'm not even gonna drip it's gonna be like a, a pouring technique hang on this is gonna be off camera unfortunately but I'm just gonna just gonna dump a bunch of juice in here pour see how I just dumped a bunch of juice in there and that's soaking up into that cotton got to get some more on this side pour oh yeah see and I'm gonna I'm gonna get all that cotton nice and uh, nice and juicy just fantastically juicy cotton coils and uh, what I end up doing is these these holes are so high so I lift my coils up and then I have all this space down in here for juice to just sit you can see how uh, how wet everything is and then if I go to press the button yep they're just gonna they're just gonna create uh, the vapors that I want um, they might be a little flooded they might be uh, a little bit under under too much juice right now but uh, take a few toots and that'll go away Oh, beautiful. It's beautiful. So those are just going to fire up like I want them to. So yeah, that's uh, that's the Trident up close. Unfortunately, it does come with this crummy, crummy top cap. But there are third party, third party caps available. I highly suggest checking out this one from RJ Vapes. I've thoroughly enjoyed using it. But we, we are going to get back out to normal view. So I got the Trident version 2 off of my Hades and now it's sitting on the Duke. This was at 0.35 ohm coils and at 3.7 volts off that Hades, it wasn't quite cutting it. The vapor was a little bit cool. I like it a little bit warmer and a little bit more intense. So I've put it on the Duke and I've adjusted it up a little bit. Now we get the nice, ooh, super loud crackly and the performance is redunculous. I apologize, this this top cap right here, this fancy top cap that I love so much so I don't have to use this piece of junk, did not come from RJ Vapes. And although RJ Vapes is a fantastic company, this came from Clean Tanks. Blake at cleantanks.biz. I'll post a link in the description. They've got cloud caps for a bunch of different atomizers, and they have the same one pictured for every atomizer, but this one looks nothing like those pictures. So if you want to get one of these nice clean caps for your rebuildable atomizers, he has them for the Patriot, the Atomic, the Helios, the Nimbus, and the Trident, although a few of them are pre-orders. Rest assured that the Atomic one Pardon me, Robin, ooh, that was gross. Does fit, does, does fit on the Trident. I apologize, I said it came from RJ Vapes. I love RJ Vapes, they were in my brain for some reason. Did not came from them, came from cleantanks.biz. Now the Trident, the Trident is fantastic as long as you don't have to use this top cap. And that's what bums me out so much. And I've watched other videos. I watched my good buddy Rip Tripper's videos. He didn't have the problem that I have with this center part spinning so much. Um, I got this from shopmvg.com. Uh, they were nice enough to send this over along with that Trident or the uh, uh, Sentinel version 2 that I did a video for uh, previously. They sell it for $95. I personally would not spend $95 on the Trident uh, version 2 rebuildable atomizer, especially if it's going to spin like this. And as I'm investigating on their shop, I've noticed they have the Trident version 2 rebuildable atomizer and the pictures show two different products. What? So there's one 
that looks like this, that has this Trident logo on it. And this is the one that I have, but they also have another one with a completely different Trident logo on it. It's more uh, metal looking and has the longer T that goes across it and there's like a stripe and then there's like a little Trident logo. I don't have that one. I have the one that looks completely different, which leads me to believe is one of these a clone? I'm not, not accusing of Shop MVG of, uh, of selling clones for full price, but it's bizarre that they have two different pictures on their site of the same product. Um, Google is no help. If you Google Trident version 2 rebuildable atomizer, you get all sorts of pictures. Some of them look like mine. Some of them look like the other logo. I don't know which is the real one. You know what would solve this? Let's go to uh, Grand Vapor. I wonder if they have a grandvapormods.com. They have to have a picture of, uh, would like to use my computer's location. No, no, you don't get to use my computer's location. Sorry, buddy. Let's look at their Trident version to rebuildable atomizer and see what their picture looks like. <gasps> Ooh, it looks like mine. Maybe mine is legit and it really spins like this. Why? Why does this happen? I hate it. I, I don't want to use it. Thankfully, Blake at Clean Tanks came through and this fits on here and works like a dream. It works, uh, just so good. The coils I have on here, the flavor is fantastic. Huge airflow holes equal larger clouds. I like building on the Trident version 2. I like using this clean tank on the Trident version 2, this clean cap on the Trident version 2, but I hate I hate the stock top cap and according to the Grand Vapor site, grandvapormods.com, this is a real Trident version 2. And if so, why does mine spin in the middle? I can't, I literally like have taken pliers and tried to crank this down hard enough so that it doesn't spin, still spins. Junky, I hate it. Oh, it pissed me off so bad. It pissed me off so bad trying to use it that I was, I was just ready to destroy this atomizer. But with this, I've actually been using this atomizer. So, Hope is not lost if you have an atomizer that you hate the airflow on because there are aftermarket or third party top caps that you can use. Anyway, that's what I got. I love slash hate the Trident version two rebuildable atomizer. Thank you so much for watching everybody. As always, let's keep on vaping.